Partnerships, the key to innovation. We're joined now by Rowan Chapman, the head of Johnson & Johnson Innovation California. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. My first question is data science and digital health, are they the same thing? Data science and digital health, I'm passionate about both of the areas. When we think about digital health, I always ask people the question, do you talk about digital travel, do you talk about digital banking? No, you talk about travel, you talk about banking. I talk about healthcare. Digital is impacting every area of healthcare, and I'm going to predict we're going to stop saying digital health and just start saying, day, start saying healthcare. So when I think about data sciences, that's an area where there have been tremendous and revolution in data sciences, but it didn't just happen in the last few years. Some of the algorithms, the machine learning, the artificial intelligence have been underway for decades. But what's happened in the last five years is the real emergence of social, mobile, analytics and cloud, and the cost of those digital data technologies has gone down dramatically. The way it's impacting healthcare is we can now ask specific que questions about patients and about people. We can understand what they do in their everyday life and we can ask them how they're feeling and their interaction in clinical trials and beyond. So data science is going to be the key to really drive this whole set of innovations in healthcare. What promise does data science hold for us in the future of healthcare? Great question. When I think about healthcare again, I think about the triple aim, I think about quality, I think about cost, and I think about access. The digital technology revolution is going to impact all of those areas. So when we think about quality, let's give some examples. So quality. First of all, you can do better clinical studies and make sure that the right people are going into the right clinical studies to make sure that you're getting the right interventions, and that can be across pharmacy suitable med device and consumer. We also think about quality. Some of the digital interventions might just be better. So some of the digital therapeutics, for example, where you're impacting people and using the social and the mobile aspects of technology to change their behavior, either their compliance or even the way they think, that might be higher quality. If we think about cost, think about the cost of running clinical trials. You think about the cost of the site supply chain. Anything you can use using data and digital technologies to take cost out of the healthcare system is a good thing. And then access. People live remotely. People can access healthcare via telemedicine, but more importantly, using their data, we can better triage them for the appropriate interventions at the right time. And so, how can data science have an impact on um, a better directive for treatment for patients? A better directive for treatment? Well, let's think about a person who has cancer, terrible, terrible disease. These days, you go into some of the most advanced cancer centers, and the first thing they do is they sequence your tumor. They understand the data that's specific and individual to you, and then they look at the host of therapeutics and say, well, which one is the right one for the mutation or the pathway that's affected in this cancer? That involves, first of all, access to data, exactly, access to the technologies, and then access to a whole host of data from other people, people like you, to understand what worked for them. That's a very key um, area, using data and analytics, and increasingly the cloud, because most of the data sits out on the cloud. Johnson & Johnson is a huge company. Why would startups want to consider pairing with something, with a company so large? Well, when you talk about J&J, &J, you have to start with our credo. Our credo says that we have to think about the right thing for the patient or the individual first. We also have to think about the employees and we think we have to think about our community and that means our partners doing the right partnerships at the right time with right people. In the end we also have to think about our shareholders and that's part of our credo. So when you think about partnering at Johnson & Johnson, Johnson & Johnson Innovation is a global organization that has a series of different partnering structures. They can be partnering for access to people, they can be partnering for access to lab space, we can do equity investments, we can do licensing partnerships, we can do m and that whole host of different tools we have available to us. And what we try and do is personalize that partnership to the external innovator. We try and do the right thing. We're not going to force anybody to do one thing or another. It's personalized. Lots of changes ahead. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.